All right, welcome to the Robert Show, and I'm here at Data Innovation Summit. So good to have Giovanni, uh, your head of business and data strategy at Credo AI. Uh, first of all, uh, you know it's such a pleasure to have you on the Robert Show. And uh, would you like to introduce yourself to our audience and also let us know about what you're doing at Credo? Thank you so much. I'm very happy to, to be able to, to catch up with you. Um, as, as head of business strategy and development at Credo AI, we I engage mainly to see how we can meet customers where they are mm -hmm. uh, in terms of their journey of building AI governance capability. Um, as an AI governance platform that Credo AI provides, right. we support customers to see, okay, how can they put their ambitions of AI governance, responsible AI, AI compliance into practice. Right. Uh, and the reason why I'm engaged with this is that for the past 20 years, I've been deep into process, analytics, AI development, and being part of uh, driving the, the movement of not only great, doing great business with data, mm -hmm. but also doing that responsibly. And my, my last role prior to joining Credo AI was head of um, global uh, algorithm and uh, AI ethics at IKEA. So I kind of come from oh, wow. a background of seeing, okay, how can we put this into practice? Exactly. It's more on the lines when you come from a background from the enterprise world, it becomes more interesting as well because uh, those are the problems that you faced firsthand in the industry. And now you on the run where you're kind of solving that problem for a lot of more enterprises, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's also to see that it, it's not only about a, a, an, an idea of we should have or it would be a good idea, but also looking upon responsible AI from a perspective of where does it make business sense? Mm. It is very interesting because uh, I, I'm hearing a lot around that as well where a lot of business leaders kind of face that problem mm -hmm. uh, where they want to implement uh, you know, AI but want to do it very responsibly and uh, they don't know where to start. Mm. So I'm pretty sure you're also helping them at the starting point, how yeah. to get that, uh, get on that journey and then uh, you know, obviously get towards uh, where they can feel very successful. Yeah, and, and uh, you're, 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 you're on to it is that there is... I would say there's a lot of nodding heads of that, mm -hmm. yes, we should be responsible uh, while at the same time not be hindered by adopting right. uh, advanced technology like AI and generative AI. Uh, while at the same time, what is critical is to have an alignment, executive alignment, to have that embedded in how you want to use technology as an organization, but also be able to enable the organization beyond the mm -hmm. technical teams to be engaged, making it a part of doing business, right. and also seeing that it is seeing that the reference of good is both having great performance, utilizing AI, while at the same time seeing that it, it, you can build deliverable uh, analytics products that are also trustworthy. Yeah. So kind of being able to see that as a part of the bottom line and when you're deliver, delivering relevant technology products. This is very insightful and a great point there. Uh, just on this point, I have a question. So since you are working closely with a lot of leaders in AI governance, so will AI governance be a hindrance or an enabler for AI innovation or AI adoption? Mm. Uh, you mentioned a point which is fantastic. But how do we get into the detailing of you know the adoption bit? Yeah, I, it's, it's it's a good point. I would say the field is maturing. Mm. We're going from yeah. seeing AI and generative AI as, as something exciting, a shiny tool that we want to use and adopt, and it's going towards the the big question that is looming is where do we get the business value of having it in production? And to have anything in production, you need to have solid control and mm. solid frameworks, processes to be able to govern it. So I think the, the main point going forward is that seeing it as the table stakes yeah. when wanting to have advanced technology into production and understanding how you can uh, govern, control, steer it, and have predictable outcomes of how it is to be used, both internally and externally. Right. Uh, to see that a part of the delivery is to have relevant AI governance, and I think it, it's, a, it's a maturity of the field of any like any field, but I, I see that is as as a part of the complete delivery of technology mm. going forward. This is this is uh, amazing and uh, good good insights there, uh, Johnny. One last question for you around you know obviously. Uh, the future of AI governance mm. and obviously also how do you implement it in enterprises and how do you see enterprises becoming more motivated about implementing mm. AI governance in their systems? 
uh, what do you think about future and even the implementation? Yeah, uh, so, so I think the future for AI governance will have a, a, a couple of driving factors. We right. see compliance being one part with the EU AI Act becoming a, a reality, but we also see surging uh, regulation across the world. We see more standards coming out like the ISO 42001 on yes. AI uh, uh, management systems. But what we want to see is that it can't only be a point of kind of driven from compliance point of view, but rather seeing that a, a way of of embedding it in in resources, mm. embedding it in people having the competence, uh, seeing that it's beyond a topic beyond the technical teams is actually something that engages business leaders, uh, risk and compliance, legal, engaging a broader range of stakeholders, and right. seeing that. In many ways, and procurement also, because many of these solutions are 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 procured through through third-party vendors. So going forward, it is more taking that step of seeing: Do you have alignment? Do you have resources? Right. Do you see that you can adapt the processes necessary uh, to be able to meet up with upcoming mm. demands, um, and also see that you can be proud of delivering great solutions with great performance that are trustworthy and want to be adapted. Because in the end, this is like basic, basic psychology. Any executive would only want to invest and focus on something like AI if they can trust it. Hmm, if, exactly. the, if, if they know that they can have confidence in it, that they know that they are liable and accountable, but they have the right governance mechanisms to be able to steer it. And this will be the same thing with AI. So it kind of matures from uh, just being a technical component or a digital solution, so actually being a business imperative integrated part of business processes. This is awesome. These are great insights uh, for sure. And uh, also, quickly, I'm pretty sure you know our audience would love to know where can they learn more about it? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Cred uh, Credo has like a lot of resources too, yep. um, but if they want to reach out to you as well, where can they do that? And even if they want to, you know, get a hold of uh, the resources that Credo shares, where can yeah. they find that? Yeah, so on Credo AI, uh, we have a resource center. We try to uh, both offer everything from blogs to webinars on a regular basis because we want to share this knowledge. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a, bu a building of an, uh, more like a community than anything else. And and to we can both uh, reach out to us as a company through our website or through LinkedIn to myself uh, directly. Fantastic. This was great. Thanks for sharing all the great insights, Gioni. And uh, I know you have uh, a lot of sessions that are going on here at Data Innovation Summit. How's the how's the environment here? What do you feel about Data Innovation Summit? I, I, love, I love this conference. The thing is, uh, I've been here now engaged in, in different ways and forums for the past eight years. Uh, wow. and, and, and to be able to uh, moderating a stage that has a focus upon uh, responsible by the AI and innovation um, is truly an honor because you get in contact with so many people that have True. great ideas and want to see how they can put them into practice. So I think it's, it's a melting pot of, of great conversations. This is awesome. Great. And uh, I, I hope all the best uh, for your mm -hmm. upcoming sessions. And uh, thanks for visiting the Robert Shaw again. Thank you for having me. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.